In this video, we're going to take a look at the Tasha Spectrum. Let's jump straight to the end with my thoughts on this pen. I find this pen to be comfortable in my hand to write with. I do enjoy using it, but I have to say I purchased it because of the music nib and I was interested in getting another Sailor Music nib. I don't think this one performs as well as the one on the Sailor pen. Now, it's not like I think that Sailor's putting out an inferior product being sent to somebody else. My experience with this one is just not as pleasant as it is with the Sailor version of it. So. I don't know that that is a worthwhile reason for someone else to go after it. So while I do use and enjoy using the pen, this is a pen that if I skipped, I don't think I would have had any kind of real loss to what was going on. I think everything would have been fine and I would have been happier than I am now. I do keep the pen in my rotation, but almost on purpose because I have it. It's not a pen that I rush to use. And it hasn't inspired me to get any more of the Tasha brand. Now that we know how I feel about the Tasha Spectrum, let's see how I got to that opinion, starting with the unboxing. The Tatcha Spectrum came in a box like this, which contained a box like this. I do think the packaging that came with this pen was very nice and really does create a display for the pen as you're opening it, giving you a bit of a nice experience, which many people say they don't care about the packaging, but I kind of see it as a detail that says a company cares about the product that they're putting out, that they want you to have a good experience from the moment you're opening the box. And they did a good job with that here. With the pen out of the box, we need to get to the nib. And as long as it doesn't take 20 turns to uncap it, I'm generally okay. So how many turns does it take to uncap this pen? The Tasha Spectrum takes one, two, and a half turns to uncap. Two and a half turns to uncap is a bit excessive. Uh, once you're really over two, you're at a point of almost an annoyance in uncapping a pen. And I wish they could get that turning down to two, so at least it's more reasonable. One and a half would be really nice, even though my optimal is one. This gets us to the nib. This pen has a gold music nib. I like that they have the nibs actually branded for them and I give them kudos for that because it does give it a bit of a different look if you were to look at it side by side with the Sailor version. Although it's the same nib, I do think that they at least have their own look about the nib. If you enjoy videos like this, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now let's ink this pen up. The Tasha Spectrum uses Sailor's proprietary cartridges or converters and holds approximately 0.8 milliliters of ink. The ink for today is Lamy Beryl. Tasha uses the Sailor proprietary converters, so if you needed to get another one, you get a Sailor which makes me happy because I like proprietary converters. I find they work much better. And this one, I've never had a problem with it. Although I do know that some people complain about the Sailor converters, I like them. 
As a habit, I don't normally post my pens, but some people prefer to post pens, and some pens need to be posted to use comfortably. This does post nice and deep, secure. It's not any kind of a problem. It fits in the hand well, but not having a cat band and honestly not really being a poster, I prefer to not post it. It's just long enough to not be a problem. Now, if I hold the section, I find it a little too thin, so I tend to actually hold right at the threads, but that's not a problem for me with how my hand works while writing. Now, the important part, the writing sample. Being that it is a music nib, writing with it is a very smooth experience. There's a little bit of feedback with this, but almost unnoticeable. It is really a very smooth nib. And that's because it's two tines instead of three, as you would expect a music nib to have. Essentially, I have a very wet stub to be able to write with. And I do think that the writing that I get with it is pretty nice. You have to make sure that you adjust the size of your writing to handle such a large nib, which admittedly, sometimes I don't do as well as others. And that's not really a fault of the pen. It's comfortable. The shelf that is there right before the section, I do find to be a bit steep as in I feel it in my fingers while I'm writing. It's not sharp in any kind of a way. So it's not that it's a problem there, it's just that while it's not a large shelf, it's much more noticeable to me than on a bunch of other pens. So I could definitely see that being rounded out a bit to make the overall writing experience a bit nicer and not feel that on my finger that's underneath. But regardless, it gives a very smooth writing experience and puts down a very generous amount of ink the entire time. So when you have inks that you'd like to show off some of those properties, this nib does a really good job of doing just that. Now, I don't write music, so for me, it's just a novelty to have, and fountain pens are a novelty, which then try some novelty nibs out and see what you think of them. I have found a bunch of music nibs that I enjoy. I enjoy this one. I've just found a bunch that I enjoy more than this one. Not that this is bad. I can't stress that. It's just not my favorite. Now for something a bit more standard in comparing writing size. I use Namiki Blue to do this, and here's how it compares to a Yovo Extra Fine on the left, medium in the middle, and a 1.1 stub on the right. Being a very wet music nib, which writes very much like a large stub with actual tipping on it, its writing size is naturally quite large, which you can see here. So while it could be good for some very large writing, it may also be a good option for highlighting. But how does this pen compare to other nibs I've used? Looking at the writing of a Tasha Spectrum with a music nib. Here it is next to a Pilot Custom 912 with a music nib, a Sailor 1911 Large with a zoom nib, a Platinum 3776 with a music nib, a Pen BBS 456 with a Goulet 1.5 stub, and a Lamy Safari with a 1.5 stub. As the size of the pen goes, it is fairly a normal sized pen. It's a little bit larger than that 3776. So 
it's comfortable for that very reason. Again, the biggest thing that I notice about it is the step down at the section. Now, thankfully, the pen's long enough that I don't need to use it posted while writing, and it stays comfortable and doesn't cause any kind of cramping because of its size. So, it isn't a review without some size comparisons. Here it is capped. Here it is uncapped. And here it is posted. At this point, we have a dirty pen that we need to clean. Be sure to check out the next pen review when we take a look at the Twisby VAC 700. Do you find when you're filling up your sample vials that they sometimes just spill over causing a mess? Have I got the product for you! BlueTac! That's right, BlueTac can hold your bottle in place for your filling needs. And for the low, low price of $19.95, it will come from my nose to you. Act now and get yours today. That was gross. If you want to be able to support not just my channel, but any reviewer, then when you make a purchase, be sure to tell that retailer where you heard about it. Thanks for watching.